Hey y'all, what's going on? So I wanted to come in here and ask y'all a question. And I know I'm on I'm I'm on my husband's laptop now because it's in here in the room and I'm uploading the video on mine. Uh, just the whole thing that's going on with this, you know, the whole uproar between Democrats and the Republicans, between women and those pro-life and pro-choice and this and that and other. The whole thing about the church and them saying that they won't, you know, it's mandatory that they offer it to their employees that work, you know, under, I guess, any type of diocese type of, I don't know, job or whatever. And everybody's, you know what I'm saying, just kind of in an uproar, like, of course, I see it for what it is. It's definitely one of those things that will, you know what I'm saying, definitely help the Republicans. This is yet another thing for them to talk about, you know that he's doing and, you know, that uh, President Obama's doing or whatever. And I'm not saying I'm pro-Obama or not Obama or whatever. I just understand the tactic. You know what I'm saying? When I'm fucked up and, you know, and this is going on with me and my group, why not throw the shit over there? Anywho, so my hope, so I was watching MSNBC today and it was kind of like, <sighs> You know, they making them take contraceptives and this and that and other. And of course, the impression that I get and I always have gotten from the Catholic Church or whatever is that they are so against contraceptives and they will go gun ho for that shit. But yet when the priest was raping the children and this and that and other, you know, it's hush, hush. We don't talk about that. That's OK. It's OK for us to do that. But it ain't OK for the woman to say you know, she can have birth control or whatever. I don't get that. I don't get that. On top of that, it's always the man shitting, chatting it up and shit. You know, you have the women back in the background saying what they saying, but mostly when it's brought up, it's the man. Like they didn't have a fucking baby. Like they gonna ever have to part ways and push a baby out. Never gonna happen. And if it was left up to them, birth control would be in the water. Um, and then this whole thing, you know, it's, my whole theory is, is that what if it is a marriage? Just because it seems to me like they demonizing it. Like if a woman is on birth control, that means she just a whole out there having premarital sex. But I beg to differ because it's a lot of women who are married that are using contraceptives. You might have already eight or nine kids and y'all just don't want no more. So what's the alternative? Or you can't afford any more children. So what's the alternative? Are they just, you know, just keep being irresponsible and, uh, you know, we ain't got enough money to take care of the babies. Although we are married, you know, but I guess because we married, we can have 101 kids and no matter whether we can take care of them or not, you know, we still doing it okay. I'm doing what's right in the eyes of the church, the Catholic church. And I'm not going to say the church because that's not my church. It never will be. My dad's Catholic. That's his church. But that will never be my church because above all, I will never, ever, before I go to pray to Jesus, I ask him anything or go to the Father, I will never say Hail Mary or none of that. And thank God and, and all the blessings to Mary for bringing Jesus here is just that I'm just not going to go by way of you when I can go directly in my prayers to the Lord, you know. The Lord intercedes for me to the Father. I don't need an extra one to have to go to. So, and I know some people are gonna be like, "Well, that's not it." Well, whatever. And again, this is my opinion and the way I feel, you know. And y'all more than welcome to express your opinion about the situation. I'm just wondering. My question is, what about the people who are married, have children, and they've had the the amount of children that they can have and afford to take care of? the proper way. Is it okay for them to have birth control? Uh, you know, what is it? And what is it with the damn Catholic Church wanting to control every, every woman's coochie? And what they do with it? You know, I'm, 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 I'm just curious. It's funny to me how certain things are important. 
you know, oh, we got to get on these birth control. Oh, oh no, nah, they ain't going to get no contraceptive. But when it came down to them molesting and doing whatever they did, and I'm still doing, there's no real uproar about that. We're going to pay that off. And let's never talk about that. You know, it is what it is. That's just the way I feel. And if I offended somebody with what I said, that was not my intentions. My intentions was to say the way I feel and ask the question. Is it ever okay to... Is it okay to use a contraceptive while you're married? Is that okay? Is, you know, I, I'm just curious. I want to know how y'all feel about this situation. I'd like to know how the men feel about the situation. Is it better to be irresponsible and keep having children you can't take care of? Now, I'm speaking to married couples. I understand where they're coming from as in a way as far as non-married people. You know what I'm saying? Women and men. But at the end of the day, if they're going to do it, they're going to do it anyway. And we didn't just get fornication or whatever. It's been going on for a long time. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. And I will be the first to say that you should wait until you get married. But even at that, even if you do wait until you marry, is it okay to say, well, we had our two, our girl and a boy, that's it. But we still want to enjoy each other sexually or whatever in the confounds of marriage and do what God has blessed us with to do. But we just don't want to have all these children. Is that okay? That's my whole point. So y'all answer that question. Tell me how y'all feel about the whole situation and all of that. I was going to talk about the Braxtons, but I choose to fall back on this one because I think it's really a, you know, uh, you know, a touchy kind of time for the family. This and that another, although this is past and it's over and by the grace of God, he's better. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it cute and keep it on mute. That's what I'm going to do. And really, you know, not that I have uh, thank you. Alright. So y'all answer that question and tell me is it okay to use contraceptives? Do you think it's okay to use contraceptives in a marriage? How about me asking that question? Maybe somebody who believes in what, you know, the church is saying will explain to me and maybe I will get a full understanding. I'm not here to just give my opinion. I do want to see other people's opinion. I don't want to see y'all arguing and letting each other have it or whatever in the comments, but understand that we can agree to disagree on here and just kind of have the conversation. You know, that's just how I feel. Um... It was something else. And I've already asked the question about the pro-life and pro-choice. I have thrown every question that I could at a person who believes that you shouldn't do an abortion. Even the question of the child has got half a head and this and that and other. Even the you've been raped and ain't no way in the world you could stand to look at this child bit or whatever. Although I would disagree with that because, you know... The baby didn't do nothing wrong. It was the person who did it. I, you know, I'm not even going to get into that because no matter what, it will come down to there's no reason. But in some ways, you ask the same person the same question about somebody that's on death row for doing something, it'll be an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. I'm just saying. So y'all answer that question. Tell me how y'all feel on that. Much love.